Hey guys, so this weekend I went over to um, Figure World, it was in Peterborough in the UK and had a really good time there, met a uh, fair amount of people, saw quite a lot of models which is what you're seeing at the moment as they're sort of scrolling past and um, yeah, spent way too much money as usual. So it was a small location, um, it was basically in a sort of school hall and but it was big enough for what it was. Um, it was very much geared towards figures, um, figure painters, there weren't any war game stuff there at all, um, there was no rules, there was no sort of demo games or anything like that. It was all very much sort of boutique miniatures, um, bigger scale miniatures, busts, even flats. Um, you've, there's some in the uh, in the video as it's playing, and flats are essentially, well, it's what the name says. They're flat, but they they've got very slight detail on them, so they're not a completely flat surface like a bit of paper or something. They've actually got slight detail on them, and that's what you paint to. It's it is, imagine what you'd get if you squashed a miniature along sort of one axis. Um, it, that's essentially what you're looking at, and it requires a different way of painting because you have to essentially sort of paint detail that's not necessarily there. And normally on a miniature, you have to accentuate the highlights and the shadows to sort of show that. On on flats, you have to really accentuate the highlights and the shadows because they're literally just not there. Um, there's also a lot of room for um, freehand work and things like that, which is the main reason why I didn't actually pick any of them up because I can't do freehand to save my life. I will learn one of these days, I promise. And beyond that, I mean, it was there was a lot of sort of the larger figures, the the sort of the 28 millimeter that we're probably used to as sort of war gamers and things like that, 28 mil, 32 mil. That's that's the kind of average size that we play with. And there was very few of that actually there. Um, Axe Faction were there, and I picked up their latest miniature. There was a few um, sort of miniatures from Guild of Harmony, and uh, Joe K miniatures was there as well. Um, but they were pretty much the only 32, 28, 32 mil figures there. Most of it was 54 and above, um, all the way up to sort of 200, you know, sort of really tall figures. There was a lot of um, historical stuff, um, sort of Landschnecks, World War II, World War One, uh, all the way up to sort of modern stuff as well. Um, a lot of obviously a lot of fantasy and things like that. There was a um, scale 75 was fairly well represented on sort of several traders stands and things like that. And yeah, I had a, I had a really good time. Um, I think I'd have probably had a better time had I known a lot of people there. Um, I don't know a huge amount of people in the community around in this area, so it's there's not a lot of in, there wasn't a lot of interaction going on. But as I was as I was sort of going around the displays, photographing the miniatures, I was chatting to some of the painters and talking to them about sort of how they'd painted it, um, how they painted their figures and things like that, and the range of skills on display was really interesting to see and one one of the things that they that they have is the whole display you can bring your own figures along and you can just plonk them down on the table and people can look at them and you can talk to people about them and things like that a lot of it was clubs there's a lot of figure painting clubs out there but there was actually an open section where you could just pretty much just turn up plonk your miniatures down and off you go there was no competition. There, there's no sort of competition there. It's a very friendly atmosphere. There's no, there's no sort of backstabbing or sort of snarky comments or anything like that. It's a really, really friendly, open atmosphere, and they make a big thing about there being no competition. And I think that's probably a good thing, to be honest. I'm not a competitive person at heart. I try not to be, but. Yeah, it was really good. I mean, as, as you can see, there's sort of miniatures scrolling by, and um, there's some really, really properly nice paint jobs. And it was interesting to see 
the different styles of painting. There were a few military modelers there. Uh, there were a few vehicles on display. Not a huge amount. It was it was very much figures and. That, I mean, it, it encompassed everything from 28 all the way up to sort of almost statue size, sort of 200, 300 mil kind of figures. Um, there's a photo in here somewhere, it's probably gone past by now, of the um, Incredible Hulk. And that was massive. That, that was easily 30 centimetres high. And I talked to the guy who painted it and he said he'd done most of it with an airbrush and then sort of gone in with a brush afterwards to clean up and he, he was showing me um, his techniques for um, sort of painting true metallics with um, enamels and he was using the Alclad um, range of enamels which produced an incredible metallic effect um, far far better than I've ever seen metallics in um, um, our, uh, acrylics so that was fan fascinating to see, and I'm, I really must try that out at some point in time. Uh, there was a lot of companies there. Uh, it was El Greco Miniatures. Um, they had a sort of reasonably large stand, and they're they're essentially an internet seller um, of a lot of miniatures. Andrea Miniatures, Studio Seventy Five, and they got a huge range of sort of pretty much everything. Um, so if you're into anything historical, they'll have miniatures for it in some fashion. There was, um, as I said, um, Axe Faction. Um, I was quite honoured the guy actually recognised me from um, other shows that we'd accidentally met at. I picked up um, the Witch Hunter that um, was new out. That looks like an excellent miniature. And then next to them were Joe Kay, and then there was a few others. Um, Sphere, um, was it Sphere Manufacturing or something on those like Sphere Productions? They were there, and they do um, MDF stands and sort of paint holders and things like that. And I think looking at them, I will probably be kitting out my new home once I move. That's why there haven't been a lot of videos. I'm still in the process of moving, and we're half packed up. So. Yeah, I think once 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 I move, I'm going to kit my new painting area out with their stuff um, because it looks like it's a it's a much more space efficient way of actually storing your paints, which is probably quite good for me. I've got a lot of paint. So back to the show. Yeah, so there were a few other um, uh, model display products were there. Um, they had um, the Elan 13 range of busts, and I picked up another one of theirs. Um, this is a Sky Pirate, so it looks quite interesting that one. And there was a few others. There was a lot. There was actually quite a lot of flat, um, sort of the, the flat um, sort of painting and, and sort of stuff you could buy for that, which was fascinating to see. Um, there are a few painting demonstrations as well. There was there was a few guys sort of in one of the areas, just um, sort of painting away and sort of um, taking questions and things which is good to see and the usual sort of refreshments things like that but yeah all in all a really good day um, I'll certainly be going along next year um, if it's well assuming it's still on of course and yeah well hopefully by then I'll know more people as well okay I'll see you later